guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my August and September wrap up. Okay, it is October already. It's been three weeks since I last uploaded my video and I told you guys before school started again, like if things are getting too busy, I won't be uploading a lot and well, shit got busy, man. <laughs> I'm having my first final on October 3rd and my second one on October 21st. So it's gonna be really busy in October, but then in November, I'm gonna have so much spare time and I'm really excited for that because then I can focus on being more creative and uploading more videos. So I finished five and I'm currently reading two books and I'm really excited to talk about them all. I personally think it's still quite a good number of books that I read in two months. It's been a lot worse <laughs> the past couple of years when I started school again. But before I'm gonna talk about the books that I finished in these past two months, I have some really exciting news. If you have seen my past two videos, you know that I showed you guys the blanket that is lying next to me right here. This is a really cozy blanket created by Emposia, which is a new company who is creating bookish blankets. This is what my blanket looks like. It has a deer on it with books and candles, and it kind of reminds me of the Patronus in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is a blanket that you can like wear as a rope, I'd say, because you can put this, oh, it's not really, uh, because look, you can put this like around your head and you have a button so you can like click this thing together. I think it is an amazing blanket to have during the upcoming winter months to keep you warm but I have some really exciting news if you guys are interested in purchasing this blanket which is great quality I'm super excited about this brand about Emposia they have amazing designs on their bookish blankets I would never promote anything on my channel that I'm not excited about and I have to say that I'm really loving this blanket so if you guys are interested I have a link a special link that is kind of associated with my channel it's an affiliate link so you can get 10% off of your blanket if you order it by October 7th and having an affiliate link means that I will get a small portion of the costs of the blanket as well so only get the blanket if you are excited about it too i haven't seen a blanket like this anywhere on the internet and i also really like that it is like bookishly inspired so please go check out their website using my link or if you are on the website you've selected a blanket you can use my code to get some reduction off and like i said it's also my affiliate link so only use it if you want to kind of like support my channel oh my god that was a super long message but now let's get into the books that i read in august and in september so the first two books that i read in august are every heart a doorway and among the Sticks and Bones by Seanan McGuire, the first two books in the Wayward Children series. I got a two month free trial for this app called Scribe, which is an audiobook app. And it was really nice. I could read all the books that I wanted. So I saw that these books were on there and I was always kind of like interested. Everyone is talking about them. There's so much hype surrounding these books, but they are so small and so expensive to buy. And now I was like, girl, I have a free trial. Let's use this for the right books. This is a series about children who have been to a different world and they were kind of sent to this world by entering a door. It is kind of like an Alice in Wonderland idea, but all these different worlds that they went to can be extremely different. You can enter all kinds of worlds. It is a very whimsical story. There is some kind of adventure happening in every single book, but it's not like a super solid plot line, if that kind of makes any sense. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below but it felt very whimsical and reading these books through like an audiobook format definitely upped my enjoyment. I think that if I would have read these books just like in a regular book form I would have paid less attention to the story and I might not have even continued with it but using the scribed app I just listened to it when I was riding my bike or when I went to the gym or commuting to school like whatever and that really helped me finish these books because the audiobooks are just four hours long. I gave the first book I believe four out of five stars and the second one as well but I definitely enjoyed Among the Sticks and Bones more than the first book. Among the Sticks and Bones focuses on two uh, characters called Jack and Jill. These are twin sisters and we followed their backstory which I thought was really interesting and dark and just oh I loved the setting. After that I went on vacation to Greece and I finished The Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne. In May I read my first Holly Bourne book which is called Am I Normal Yet which is also the first in a kind of like companion trilogy series and I 
loved that one like so much. It was all about mental health and feminism and friendship and it was just a masterpiece of a book. I was super excited to read another one of Holly Bourne's books because I have a feeling that she's gonna be a new favorite author of mine. The manifesto on how to be interesting is about Brie. I had to check her name because I already forgot it. And Brie is not exactly popular but she feels like she has a very uninteresting life and she thinks that becoming popular and doing certain things will make her life much more interesting. And I didn't like this book, like at all, which was so strange because I loved Am I Normally Yet by Holly Bourne, but this one, she published this book a little earlier in her writing career, so that might also have a little bit of an impact. But the things that happened in this book, they were such cliches and certain situations, I feel like it kind of felt like Brie sort of brainwashed herself because she was like, I can only have an interesting life if I do this and this and this and I will do it even though I know that it's bad or that you are not supposed to do it. On one hand, I obviously think that this that was the purpose of the book. It's supposed to show you that doing these things doesn't mean that they're good or better, whatever but it annoyed me so much. There were so many cliches, like the popular girls had no personality at all. And once they showed a bit of personality, they came back into their character and it felt really unnatural. I just really didn't like this book. I think I gave this one a two and a half out of five stars because I still really enjoyed Holly Bourne's writing style. I did see some of her like characteristic traits in her books. Like I did find some feminist comments. I did see some good aspects in this. This is definitely a book which has a trigger for like self-harm. So if you are triggered by that, don't read this book, which I also think was a good part of the book. I don't know. That was, I think, one of the only parts which I thought were really great about this book, showing the self-harm. Brie just really, truly like did and think about the things that she was doing. Her morals were completely like thrown out of the picture, which I thought was just a little too much a little over exaggerated. Still will be reading Holly Bourne's book. If this would have been my first Holly Bourne book, I don't know if I would have as much faith in her stories as I have right now because I read another book by hers which I thought was amazing. Just do not read this one. I definitely don't recommend this book but I do recommend Am I Normal Yet by her. <laughs> then school started and I was thinking like okay I have a one month left of my free scribed trial. Let's start Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire, the third book in the We Were Children series. I like this story. I especially loved the world that we were thrown into in the story which is the confectionery, the sugar kind of world, I'd say. I just love the kind of like Willy Wonka chocolate factory sugar world idea. I just, I wish that was real. I noticed that I didn't pay as much attention to this book as the other two and that I kind of didn't really care for the story. It might also be because my personal life was a little bit like hectic at the end of August, beginning of September. I am hesitant to pick up In an Absent Dream, which is the fourth book in this series. I also don't have a free trial anymore, but <laughs> that might also be kind of the reason. But I also am not like super enthusiastic about continuing with the series. I think I did give this one like a three or a three and a half out of five stars because I do love the way that Sean and McGuire writes a story. It's super whimsical. I loved the audiobook, but I just forgot a lot of the things that happened in it. Uh, okay, next up. I am so excited about this. There is a Taylor Jenkins readathon going on. Like a couple of booktubers are hosting this. I don't know exactly who, but I believe that the September book of the Taylor Jenkins readathon was was One True Loves and I read this one and oh, I love this story just ah oh. I definitely didn't like it as much as Daisy Jones and the Six and the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo but it was really really good. So we follow Emma and she gets married to her like high school sweetheart in the beginning of her 20s. At their one year anniversary her husband Jesse is going on this like helicopter ride because he is a nature documentary person person that's his career then the helicopter gets lost and Jesse is missing people presume that he is dead a couple of years later Emma moves on and is engaged to Sam all of a sudden out of nowhere she gets a phone call and Jesse is on the phone and he has survived the helicopter crash and now Emma's life is like 
what the fuck is happening? Like, who is she gonna go for? Is she gonna go back to Jesse, her like high school sweetheart, or is she gonna stay engaged to Sam? And I found that this concept was really interesting. I really wanted to know what Emma was gonna do or how she was gonna feel about her like husband and her fiance. Normally, I don't know if I would have picked up a book like this, but I know that Taylor Jenkins Reid writes just amazingly complex emotional stories so I was ready to get into it and I'm not disappointed. I love how Taylor Jenkins Reid went into the concept of like loving multiple people. It warmed my heart, it broke my heart, it mended it back together. I gave this one a four out of five stars and I ordered another one of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I think that she is my new favorite author. I never would have expected that I was gonna read one of her books this year because it is like adult fiction and it is not intimidating at all like let me tell you I think that if you are like a little bit more mature in your thinking Taylor Jenkins Reid is amazing to get into adult fiction because it's not difficult to get into man I just love her so much this was a great book again and I cannot wait to read all of her other books okay so those were all the books that I finished right now let's go on to the two books that I'm currently reading I'm still currently reading Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson and I haven't continued on with that book the book that I'm like actually currently reading I will finish in the next coming like two to three days and that is Meat Market by Juno Dawson. I hope that you can see that this book has a holographic title. Oh man I'm like almost done with this book. I thought that I would be able to finish it yesterday but unfortunately I didn't but I am absolutely adoring the shit out of this book. I think that this will be one of my favorite reads of this year. Our main character Jana Novak is a I don't even know what her like cultural background is but it's not like British or anything. She has like a mixed cultural background but she is tall. She is thin. She's looking androgynous. Is that the right way to say it? So the way that she looks is kind of like manly and female at the same time which is very popular in the fashion industry. So it is like not a big surprise that when she goes to a theme park she gets scouted by like a model agency. Once she gets scouted as a model she gets like so super popular. She blows up in just a couple of months and she's like the new supermodel. In this book you see all of the wrongdoings in fashion. Like for instance you have like pushy photographers, you have the whole intoxicating diet culture which is like associated with models like being super thin. You see stress, you see Jana dealing with her friendships and her relationships. I cannot express to you guys how amazing this book is. It deals with sexual intimidation, it deals with feminism, and all of the other topics that I just mentioned. Wow, I'm just flying through this book when I'm reading it. I think that this is great and everyone should read this. Like, it is a really impactful read. I picked this book up on a whim in the bookstore because, of course, the holographic title, like, really spoke to me, but then I read the synopsis and I was like, I feel this is a book that everyone should be reading today in order to kind of adjust our our norms of like beauty in general and that just everyone should be seen as beautiful and you do not have to be thin or you do not have to look a certain way in order to be perceived as beautiful by society. I'm just really enthusiastic about this book and I feel like this is definitely an underrated read. So if these kind of topics speak to you and you want to read an amazing YA novel, please pick up meat market. I am loving just everything about this basically. I have a feeling that I will give this book five out of five stars. Okay guys I'm done talking. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have read any of the books that I just showed to you guys or what your opinions are about them or just let me know what you read in August or September. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. If you guys want to follow me of course I have Goodreads because I'm a booktuber but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!